Congrats! We landed on the moon! We landed on the moon! 2019 is the 50th anniversary of the moon landing, the epic finale of the cannonball run known as the Space Race. In the 1960s, it seemed like every day there was a new update as to how close or far the US and the Soviets were from achieving interstellar greatness. You could cut the tension between the US and the Soviet Union with a nudge. It was a way for the two superpowers to show off their massive rockets without actually blowing each other up. But what most don't know is that the space race could have actually ended as early as the Kennedy administration. By the late 1950s, the space race was fully underway. With the Russians having already sent animals into space, the Americans called their shot and officially announced their plan to build the world's first satellite. But the Russians beat them to it with Sputnik. So President Eisenhower suffers a stroke and then leaps into action creating NASA. With both the US and the Russians rapidly building rockets, fears rose regarding each country's space and military capabilities. Tensions reached a boiling point in 1962 when the US found that the Russians had deployed ballistic missiles in Cuba, leading to the famous standoff known as the Cuban Missile Crisis. This is where Kennedy and Khrushchev were basically standing there like two kids going, go ahead, launch at me, bro. No, bro, you launch at me. You started it. What are you gonna do, cry about it to Maryland? I'm telling the UN. So basically nothing happened. But what's important is that it scared the hell out of both of them. Neither had blown the other up and the two opposing leaders slowly began to creep towards working together. Finally in a field where the United States and the Soviet Union have a special capacity in the field of space, there is room for new cooperation, for further joint efforts in the regulation and exploration of space. This led to what could have been the defining moment of the space race. Kennedy then says to Khrushchev, hey, you're trying to get to the moon, we're trying to get to the moon. Let's team up. Kennedy Khrushchev we will be bigger than K-pop. In response, Khrushchev does his best Maggie Smith impression from Downton Abbey. Well, now I've seen everything. Khrushchev respectfully declined. Then Khrushchev eventually joined Kennedy and they skipped happily ever after into outer space. What actually happened was Kennedy was assassinated the following year and Khrushchev was ousted by his protege, Leonid Brezhnev. So instead of working together to bring on a time of peace, we had to endure another decade of the Cold War and the space race. A decade of fear, a decade of war, and a decade of LBJ Brezhnev, which is the least sexy buddy cop movie anyone could ever think of. In 1969, when we finally put a man on the moon, Armstrong and Aldrin left a plaque on the moon saying, came in peace for all mankind. Now that the fight to get there was over, the space race pivoted away from competition towards a spirit, at least in theory, of scientific cooperation. Eventually, Brezhnev and Nixon would come to an agreement in 1972 to dock the last US Apollo craft with the Russian craft called Soyuz, known as the Apollo-Soyuz Test Project. The two sides worked together and in 1975 successfully exchanged the first international handshake in space. So how would history have been different if Kennedy and Khrushchev had just worked together? Could Kennedy and Tom Khrushchev had stopped the Cold War? Probably not but the increased cooperation would at the very least have changed the nature of US and Soviet relationships in a very fraught time. It would have changed international relationships enough to affect decisions both countries made, at least in part out of fear. Decisions at home and decisions over the fate of places like Cuba, Czechoslovakia, and of course, Vietnam. On the other hand, would we have gotten to the moon if 1960s Hobbes and Shaw had halted the space race and removed that competitive spark? Who knows? Either way, it's fun to think about.